Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I would say I achieved an incredible bit of character growth, and I'm not talking about my character, I'm talking about me. Because I said at the start of the episode, I want to come here to the Wainham Priory, and in the same episode, I made it. Now that, that there, that's a big deal for me. Although I will concede, it wasn't the longest walk in the world. My next destination, that one might be a bit more, um, difficult. Given, yes, I'm supposed to be going to Kavach. And that's, that's a lot, lot further away from the Imperial City. And there's an entire town between me and there. A town where I know there's an alchemist who wants to talk to me about plants. And that's going to be really interesting and... Uh, Okay, place bets now how long it is until I find the Emperor's son, because I suspect it's going to be quite some bloody time. And I tell you what, nothing is going to distract me from the Oblivion Crisis better than this right here. The, well, I thought Coral was just a village, but no, it's got like massive stone walls, a, a huge bloody church in it and all sorts, so alright, this place is much bigger than I was thinking. Okay, now I am gonna say this place is... It is gorgeous! Like, yeah, the Imperial City was a bit too closed in by all its segments, but this is... Uh, oh, it's lovely. It's all wide open. It's like a little village. Oh, this is really nice. I like this a lot more. Oh, they've even got... Well, I don't know whether it's a park, but... They've got this lovely, lovely green area right over here. Oh, I should not have purchased property in the Imperial City. That shack down by the harbour? No, 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 no. Though, oh, I just overheard something. Apparently I have a new topic. Okay, I'm guessing one of these shacks here is going to be up for sale. And honestly, that is a lot nicer. Like in this town, I'm inside the defences. Like with the Oblivion Crisis kicking off any day, that is a good place to be. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Okay, I've just been, uh, well, hopefully, you know, given a nice warm welcome, not about to be mugged if we're lucky. Yes, I am. It's lovely to meet you. I really like your town. It's lovely. Likewise, I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Okay, so this woman's just given me a lovely welcome. So, all right, who's your mother? My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Oh, I see. This here, this is a business strategy. She's coming to say hello to the people new in town, so they come to her mother's store. Okay, now that, that's clever. She's like a greeter for the store, except she gets people as they come into town, not the store itself. All right, that's good marketing. I admire that. Also, yes, by the way, who's, um... Reynald Germain, because apparently I, like, heard a rumour or something in the distance, but I didn't actually hear it. Yes, it's quite odd. Reynald, who I've bumped into several times in Coral, acted like I was a complete stranger. Also, he seemed sober, which is a refreshing change. Usually, Reynald is stumping around Coral drunk as can be. Very odd, but then it's really none of my business. Okay. Ooh, new mission separated at birth. Right. Mysterious, suspicious twins or something. I heard that the Countess is quite upset lately. Apparently someone stole something very personal to her. Okay, well, you're just a bloody font of information, aren't you? Okay, there's a Countess. She might have had something stolen. Find a guy who's ordinarily drunk, so presumably at the tavern. Right, well, you are very useful. You know what? I'm going to be nice to you. So I don't like on. you, so... She's already at 97. She loves me already. Okay, I love you too. If I'm allowed to romance people in this game, I'm romancing you, Dharma. And here we go. Northern Goods and Trade. Okay, you know what? With a welcome like that, I'm doing all my shopping here, damn it. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Okay, basically, I would like to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. She is such a charmer. Her marketing worked brilliantly. I'm now going to do all my shopping here. And, ooh, you're also a trainer. 
I'm willing to teach if you're willing to learn. Merchant skills. I mean, honestly, that's... It's pretty cheap, but I probably shouldn't... Oh, go on, why not? I'll make the money back if I invest in merchants, so uh, let's do my first ever bit of training. And there we go, merchant goes up. All right, now, yes. how do we... She loves me too. Okay, this is just a very friendly family, I love it. Although apparently, despite being a general store, she won't actually buy and sell weapons or armor. So okay, fair enough. I think someone mentioned like a smithy in town, we can go and find them. Oh, here we go, just around the corner, fire and steel. Now this, this I've been looking forward to because I've got a plan. So let's talk all about the things that John just didn't know. So um, apparently in this game, many people who've played it a lot consider endurance to be one of the most important attributes in the game. Why? Because when I boost my endurance down the line, it doesn't retroactively apply the full hit points I would get had I had endurance, you know, nice and high from the beginning. So getting my endurance up from 35, that's kind of uh, actually important. We need to be getting a move on with that, because otherwise I'm just hurting myself in the mid to late game. And that we can do. Why? Because yes indeed. Heavy armor. Then, just block a lot, it's going to be magnificent. And you, my good lady, are going to help me do this. Now, to be honest, it's a bit on the expensive side, but I've already butted her up with the Persuasion minigame, though she isn't an expert merchant, so I suspect I can't get too much of a reduction. Maybe if I'm lucky... We're not going to do better than that at the absolute best, no. Let's start off with the cheap stuff. Can I get these gauntlets out of your hands uh, for only 88? You bought that for a song. Honestly, I think that's a really, really good result. I'm willing to uh, keep doing that. So, okay. I will take the steel armor right here. Lovely. Now we're running out of money. Would you like to buy the old, uh, yes, leather stuff off me? Because, oh, it's not worth much. It's really not worth much. Here, I will take my clothes off in front of you. Alright, if you like that sort of thing, you can give me a bit more of a discount. That'd be great. So yeah, get rid of all that. I do not need to be clogging up my inventory. So okay, right now what I've got is... Uh, that is not enough gold to buy much more, is it? No. No, it's not. Okay, I may have made a slight mistake here, because I still can't afford the shield. And also, uh, you're not selling steel legs, are you? Okay, I might need to go for... The Iron Greaves. Those I can afford. No, hang on. Not Greaves. Not Greaves. What's the... What's the thing that's not Greaves? No, it is Greaves. Gauntlets his hands. I was thinking Greaves. It's fine. Sorry, I just don't know what armor does. Okay, for now, I'll take the helmet. I kind of don't want to wear one bit of iron with steel. I feel like that's just not, you know, fashionable. So, we're just going to make do without for the minute. And I need to go and make some money somewhere to come back and buy that shield. You see, my starting assumption was, because the steel chest plate was going to be big and bulky, it wouldn't matter that I wasn't actually, you know, wearing anything on my legs. Because, you know, the piece would come down and cover up that fact. But, um, as it turns out, no. No, that, that's not the case. There's, there's a great big hole and people... Okay, so I'm just going to wander around town in heavy armor, but with my underwear very much on show. So... All right, that's um, that's what we're doing today. Does anybody have any jobs they need doing? I will do work in return for trousers. Also, I'm just really curious. What the flip is this building? Because, uh, yeah, this is, like, huge. This is bigger than the, uh, what was it called? Temple of the One back in the Imperial City. So, okay, Stendar. He's one of the um, nine and or eight depending on what precisely, uh, yes, the state of uh, heresy is. So, uh, all right, the lad's got himself a big-ass temple here. This is lovely. Now, by any chance, like in Skyrim, if I go and, like, you know, uh, touch the altar or something, do I gain a benefit? Make a pilgrimage to the Way Shrine of Stendar and then receive a blessing 
at Stendar's Holy Altars. Okay, so back in these days, uh, you didn't just go and slap Stendar's statue on the bum and get the benefit. No, 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 no. You need to do a flipping pilgrimage. Though it's not a mission, so I do not know where said thing is. Ah, maybe not, but apparently you know something about the... Oh, of course. The anvil attack, which is even further down that road to Kavach. Yeah, it was on a chapel, and you're a priest, so naturally you might know something about it, or at least be interested in it. The worst thing is, no one even knows what happened. People heard the screams, but when they broke down the chapel doors, everyone was already dead. And there was mention of, yes, a prophet talking about the end of the world. The church has taken no official position on his teaching yet, but from the reports I've heard, he may be truly inspired by the divines. Well, we know the Oblivion Crisis is about to kick off, so, I mean, bare minimum, apparently we've got a mission now. Here we go, Desecrated Chapel of Debella in Anvil. So, yes, we should go and... Okay, just me not wearing pants in the background even on the quest screen. Magnificent. We should go see this guy at some point. Okay, no one's willing to tell me where the shrines are, but... There's an orc here who would appear to be some form of, uh, I don't know, restoration specialist. Because she's selling a few other spells, but overwhelmingly, this is restoration stuff. Curing poison, paralysis, all the rest of it, including, ooh. Back in these days, uh, restoration lets you fortify, so I could make myself way stronger. I mean, honestly, this is, this is good news, okay. I mean, my healing spell is, yes, very slow at healing. I do need something a bit better. Healing major wounds might not be a bad thing at all. How good is my restoration skill? 19. Okay, rising. Okay, John, we need to. That's better. I'm just going to face backwards. Uh, ignore the tiny triangle that lets you see my ass in the back of the armor. Just pretend you can't see it. If we just, like, turn the armor a bit more... Okay, that's about right. Now, as far as anybody's concerned, I am not naked. But yes, restoration appears to be going up a bit on the uh, slow side. So yes, we need to get that up towards uh, 25 uh, to do better spells. The chapel may potentially have, uh, yes, some secrets, mind. Because uh, downstairs, uh, there's a secret basement I'm not allowed into. Alright, just all undercrofts as well. Right. Well, you've got a secret downer here, but I'm not going to go, you know, intruding on my first day in town. Especially as, yes, I kind of need this place to uh, hire me to do some work. Seriously, anybody need jobs doing? Because uh, I'm kind of desperate for money now. There are spells that need purchasing. I'm not wearing trousers. Oh, now this will flipping do the job. Guilds! There's guilds here! There's a fighter's guild in this lovely, lovely little centre of town right here. And the Mages Guild, right next door, and... Okay, you guys, you guys seriously were, uh, yes, apparently a bit on the smaller side back in these days. Like in Skyrim, they had a Doom Fortress University above a ruined village. Back in these days, apparently the Mages Guild was a small house in a rather nice market town. But okay, start with the Fighters Guild, because people were saying, like, constantly actually... Fighters Guild's looking for new members. It's a good way to earn some coin. Well, that's what I bloody need, so let's go. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. Are you interested in joining? Okay, sorry, this is not what I thought it was. Like, I assumed the Fighters Guild would be like, you know, some rough heavies who went around doing questionable work in order to get rich, but by the sounds of it, yes. No bounties, a clean record. Okay, so you're like really legit and clean cut, but also about stabbing people. Right, we need to get to the bottom of precisely what these guys' deals are, because they're not like the police, because there's clearly a town guard, there's guards everywhere, so what function do you guys like for Phil, are you like the Adventurer Guild? Is that what we're talking about here? Excellent. You are now an associate in the Fighters Guild. You should report to either Azan in Anvil or Burr's Grow Cash in Shadenel for contracts. Okay, so I've officially joined the Guild. Beautiful, though. Yes, indeed. Advancement. Sounds like I need to take contracts. 
Oh, there we go. I'm officially now in the Fighters Guild faction as an associate, which I'm guessing is like as low as it gets. Oh, but I tell you what, this is a good deal. Every single bed in this entire place is just open to me. So, okay, also every item too. Okay, can I just like help myself to anything going? Because uh, if you guys have got any trousers floating around, I could really do with some trousers. Okay, there are just really good weapons just sitting out and apparently taking them isn't a crime. I mean, that is a silver short sword, which I shouldn't use because silver is a, an incredibly soft metal. So you shouldn't really use it for weapons, but I mean, it seems pretty good. I mean, yes, it is just demonstrably better than my steel short sword. So, all right, lovely. And if I was good enough at lock picking, there's some really nice stuff. Ooh, glowing green sword and everything. But for the time being, I mean, if you guys don't mind me... Okay, run into a slight problem here. I was about to say, if you guys don't mind me taking your swords, I'm just going to go sell them all. Um, I can't do that. Because apparently I'm already over capacity, despite the fact I'm not yet wearing pants. Okay, I may have somewhat overestimated how much carry capacity I've got. Oh my goodness, they actually do. I mean, okay, it's not armor, but it is trousers. Okay, I'm not going to say it's a perfect fit. There is definitely a bit of incoherence with what I'm wearing on the top of my body versus the bottom. But at the bare minimum, I'm not flashing everybody as I walk around town. So this is a step forward. I like this guild. Me and this guild can be friends. Well, okay, the free bed is nice, but unless I've missed something here, no one actually wants to give me any contracts. She did say, yeah, go to Anvil or Che something. There we go. Che Dinner right in the top right, pretty nearby to, yeah, Imperial City. That should be pretty easy to get to. Though Anvil is, yeah, same place as we've got trouble with the, uh, the Prophet. The Ranting Prophet, End of the World, Desecrated Temple of Debella. So... That's even further away than Kavach. That's going to be a long time in the future. So if I wanted to proceed, we're going to need to do Che Dinner by the sounds of it. But to be honest, I need money now because I am just wearing a skirt and I'm not happy about it. I want my proper steel trousers. Oh, they've got a proper training basement and everything. Oh, I like these guys. These guys are good. Oh, are you a smith by any chance? Well, she does appear to be, but she refuses to, yes, either teach me how to use the forge or sell me anything. So, maybe, yeah, crafting just wasn't a thing back in these days. And she yet more things I could take and sell. Okay, I need to come back here with an empty inventory. Because there is enough stuff just sitting around. I could just take it over to the blacksmith, sell it, because it's not stolen, it's all legitimately taken, and use it to buy myself some trousers. Oh, we've even got a block trainer. Okay, now that's pretty good. Okay, I have got a plan and it completely, 100% is not a robbery. Step one, sleep till morning because yes, presumably the blacksmith won't be open right now. Step two, dump all the weapons and armor I actually want to keep right here in this chest. Because I'm in town, I am safe, I don't need any of it. So just dump all the, yeah, in particular, the steel stuff. It weighs quite a lot. And this has made me realize, yeah, part of the problem is arrows. I'm carrying a lot of weight in arrows. I shouldn't be carrying this many arrows. I'm never going to use all of them. Yeah, I should be storing arrows somewhere. That's part of the issue. Okay, you know what? That's not what even naked. Now? I'm still wearing a skirt. I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing a bra. It's all fine. So now what we do is we just grab all the good stuff. Yep, all that in hand. I am just under carry capacity. Brilliant. All right, my good friends at the forge, I have got one a hell of a deal for you. And also, apparently my athletics just went up to presumably, yes, 25. So... Fatigue regeneration when running, increased. Good, 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 good. So now I get my fatigue back faster. Lovely. Oh yeah, she'll buy it. She will buy all of it. Brilliant. Get rid of all this trash. Lovely. And this is... No, not the arrows. We need the arrows. They're good. Though yeah, if there's no crafting, I may as well just 
Sell the jewels, I suppose. And there's Merchant going up too. Right, that gets me the shield, though. Oh, yeah, she never actually had steel trousers. That was the, that was the entire point, wasn't it? Okay, we're going to have to make do with her out. So buy the shield. I do want a good shield because, honestly, I need the good armor to offset the fact I've got two and a half hit points. Okay, you know what? I'm so worried about weight. I'm going to take the old leather trousers back. It's still one armor. The iron trousers are just two. I feel like I can't justify a full set. Not just yet, anyway. And there's all my stuff just where I left it. Brilliant. Though I'm only going to take eight arrows. Because seriously, there's no shortage of arrows just floating around the world. And I'll leave the steel short sword. Because yes, it's now been replaced by the silver. Oh yeah. Now that. That's more like it. Still a tiny bit on the... Uh, Yes, not quite right side. Those trousers do not fit, and the shoes definitely don't. But it's better than nothing, okay? I feel like I am much better protected these days. Well, if the Fighters Guild don't want me to do anything, and thus aren't willing to pay for me to do anything, Majors, if you guys need me to do some magic, ideally for pay, I can do that. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm not fitting in with the guys here, but, um... We are where we are, I suppose. Very well. You are now an associate of the Mage's Guild. The full guild hall is now available for your use. You'll need a recommendation from each local guild hall in order to advance further. Until then, the Arcane University will be closed to you. Oh, okay. This isn't the Mage's Guild. That makes a lot more sense. So... Right, this is not the guild, uh, this is simply a chapter house, and I'm guessing the Fighters Guild next door, same thing, given they mentioned other towns. So, uh, there's a university, which I think I may have seen on the map by the Imperial City, but I can't even go in until the chapters have decided to vouch for me. Gotcha. So, okay, buddy, I'm assuming I need a recommendation from you, if you're like the leader of a chapter, though, okay, before we ask. Butter him up a bit. All right, got him up to 79. That's capped out. And, uh, buddy, give me the recommendation, all right? I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, you can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. Okay, I feel like I'm not getting paid for this, because I'm doing it for a letter, but tell me more. She and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations, and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. Determine what she's after, and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here, spreading her lies. Okay, this feels a lot like, uh, yes, dirty internal politics, but... Sure, why not? I want to get inside that university sooner or later. I'm not gonna be able to summon the biggest, sexiest demons until I do. And better and better as soon as I join. Yes, I can just take anything I want. So if I didn't have, uh, yeah, this whole alchemy business sourced out, I could... Uh, oh my. Well, that's a valuable book. And that was... Aha! That was actually an alchemy book, apparently. Brilliant. And naturally, of course, yes, we are just uh, swimming in trainers for various magical schools. One, the mysticism, this guy alteration, so okay. If I need to boost something in a hurry, that's where we can sort things out, though. Just gonna ask everyone about, uh, Irana. Just in case anyone says, oh yeah, she was right. That bastard over there, he's the evil one. Because I suspect she's in the right for some reason. I don't know all the details, but I heard that she complained to the council until they removed Tikius from his position at the Arcane University. Okay, this is definitely just a petty squabble. Got it. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, I like the living quarters in the Mage Guild a lot more. Like, people have got private rooms, it's not just a dorm. I can come up here and use this bed. That is a nice bed, right there. That is lovely, I appreciate the extra privacy, so... Uh, Alright, 
I feel like I might be, uh, yes, coming here to sleep rather than the Mages Guild, though. Uh, is that another skill book by any chance? No, it's just a very valuable one for some reason. And more silver weapons. This time a dagger. Alright, I'm just swimming in silver weapons all of a sudden. I mean, that is three damage on a dagger that is swinging super fast. That is not bad at all. Oh, flip me, I may have been wrong. Those shacks down the corner of town, they might not be the ones for sale because there is a for sale sign right here on this beautiful, beautiful house in the center of town. Oh, I'm never going to be able to afford this. Like, it is next door to the Mages Guild and two over from the fighters. Right in the center. Oh, this is... This is beautiful, but I cannot afford this. Oh, I really want to buy this at some point. Okay, we're buying this house eventually. I just don't know who's actually, you know, selling it. Oh, and I found Arana. She was right here outside the Mages Guild, and you are the ugliest, lumpiest, potato-faced person I have run into so far in this entire game. You are truly a hideous potato. Ah, yes, you are a guild mage, are you not? Yet different from the others. Yes, yes, this is good. There's a small matter with which you may be able to assist. It's nothing worth involving your guild in, I assure you. Best if kept just between us, yes? So, what say you? Okay, play along. I don't know whether I'm interested yet, but my job is to figure out what it is she's doing. So, yes, I would be delighted to help you. Or at least, you know, hear details of your evil plan. Unless it's a good plan and the other guy's evil. Because I'd like to know why precisely you got him kicked out of his job at the university. Excellent. It's a simple task, really. All you need to do is fetch a book for me. The book is entitled Fingers of the Mountain. It is of no use to you. You won't be able to read it. I, however, can and would very much like to. You'll find it in an old ruin called Cloud Top. It's north of Coral, up in the mountains. I'm afraid I don't have an exact location. Return it to me immediately when you have it. Make no mention of it to Tikius or anyone else in your guild. I will make it well worth your effort. Okay. So I now know what she's after, but there's no reason to believe she's going to, you know leave any time soon. So, all right, would just be telling this guy immediately what she wants be enough to get me the letter? Yep, the journal says it would be good enough to speak to him, but I suspect he's going to send me to get the book anyway. Well, bare minimum, right now I don't have a precise location, just somewhere north in the mountains, be it on the vague side. Something a bit more specific would be useful. He might know an exact location. What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is? Well, this is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the guild. I trust that as a member of the guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request, go to this place she has described, and return with the book. This is far more important than any petty squabble. Okay, so he wants me to go and do the same thing. Brilliant. Here we go, perfect. He did know the location, so now I know where Cloudtop is. Alright, I'm going to go and sort this out, but, 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 but... If I want to, yes, come back rich and loaded up with treasure, that means I'm going to need to uh, lighten the load a bit before I go. I'm going to store the silver short sword right here in the fighter's guild, uh, where I got it. I'll keep the dagger. And I also can't help but notice that, yes, the apparatus is uh, very expensive. So I'll keep the two light bits and dump the rest. Store the debaser for the time being too, because I will never remember to use the damn thing. And try and remember to drink some potions, because actually, some of these are pretty valuable. In which case, off to my favourite shop. Oh yeah, how many potions of cure poison do I really need? Like, let's just get some of this out the way, lovely. That's more like it, 600 gold. Probably still not enough for that house, though. 
Okay, before I decide where I'm going, and specifically before I run screaming out into the mountains, uh, someone did mention uh, the Countess. Something's been stolen from the Countess. Now, if somebody is going to pay well for a job well done, it's the Countess, all right? Oh, yeah. The castle's a bit on the fancy side. This is like a keep in Skyrim. So what I'm assuming it? during the day, the Countess is just hanging out receiving visitors, right? Am I allowed to approach? It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Countess Valga of Coral. I wish I had time to chat, but I'm afraid I'm in the middle of an investigation. Oh, investigation is my middle name, but let's just we'll butter see. up a bit first. All right, there we go. Got a max at 62. Lovely. By any chance... Ooh. The Chancellor. He's the guy who's, like, running the entire continent right now. As the head of the Elder Council, High Chancellor Orkato is the de facto ruler of the Empire for the time being. Okay, so nothing much to say about him. She's being very diplomatic, but, yeah, it's just nice to see uh, everyone's aware of that. Yes, indeed. How much for a house? I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable telling you. Even maxed out. Okay, we're going to need to do this investigation first. Still, maybe now I'm maxed out in terms of, uh, yeah, her liking me, she might be willing to let me help. You seem the trusting type. Perhaps you can assist me. It seems someone has taken away an heirloom that is quite dear to me. I want you to help me recover a stolen painting. The painting was of my lost love, the Count Valga. And it has been stolen from my bedchamber. If you find the painting and bring the culprit to justice, you shall be justly rewarded. What say you? Okay, now this woman has got to be paying well. And there can only be so many people who could get into her bedchamber. This cannot be that difficult to figure out. Very well. I suggest you begin to gather clues. And I warn you, do not accuse the wrong person or I shall be quite cross with you. Here are some keys. They should allow you access to many of the restricted areas in Castle Coral. Okay, I've got access to Castle Coral. I can solve the mystery. And if a handful of other valuable things should happen to go missing at the same time, well, it must have been the thief. The terrible thief who I'm tracking down. Okay, let's start speaking to people, apparently even random unnamed people, we can start, uh, yes, getting basic information from. So, you, Countess's bodyguard, who logically, as the bodyguard, would have access to the bedchamber. I was with the Countess all evening. Didn't see a thing. And if that's true, then you're an alibi to each other. So, okay, she hasn't destroyed the painting for some weird nefarious purpose, you haven't stolen it because, yes, you are alibis to each other. Unless, of course, the Countess and her bodyguard are secret lovers and they destroyed the painting in a fit of jealous rage about her ex-husband. And Okay, we might be reading a bit too much into literally zero evidence. Right, you, buddy, you're a big deal at court. You must know something. My duties rely on watching no more than the throne and attending to visitors. But confidentially... I will say that Orgnolf has been acting a bit unusual. His abuse of drink has gotten worse lately. He has taken to asking for money from others to purchase spirits. A porter's wage does not befit his habit. Okay, we've got we're well, not a suspect, but someone who's acting a bit odd at the bare minimum. Oh, and speak of the devil, here is Orgnolf, or to give him his full name, Orgnolf Hairy Legs. So, you a living statue, or are you going to say something? Okay, you are not making a good first impression, buddy. All right, you need me to not be accusing you of stealing a painting. The night of the theft, I was in the Great Hall, having an argument with a delivery boy from Braville. It seems his horse lost its footing in the heavy rain we had that night, and the shipment of port that it was carrying slipped to the ground. Oh, the fall broke most of the bottles. He didn't want to claim responsibility, but I gave him what for and sent him away. After that, I spent the rest of the night in my quarters, reading. Okay, drinking, but... If we could verify what the weather was the night of the theft, if it wasn't heavy rain, then his story's got a hole in it. All right, we got three sets of private quarters upstairs. I'm guessing... 
this will be the crime scene, logically, because yes, the Queen's quarters would be right at the front. And uh, oh bloody hell, there's, well met. there's a lot here actually. Let's find some more quarters and uh, who's a O-Rock? No one mentioned an O-Rock to me. He must be bumbling around somewhere. Just check for anything suspicious. All right, you know, any paintings, for example. Where's the crime scene? And uh, Lord's private quarters. Okay. Now, this is the big one right here. This is the crime scene. So, uh, all right. What's going on here? Where was the painting originally hanging? Oh, no. I'm not allowed in the bedchamber itself. That's properly locked up. So, right. Okay. I'm not allowed in her bedchamber regardless. Unless, of course, I'm really, really good at lockpicking. And I am not. So, okay. We can't actually examine the crime scene. Still, we've got someone here. Channel. Hello. Who are you precisely? Hello. Are you searching for something? Yes, indeed. Something, something, your testimony. The night that the painting was stolen, I was in the courtyard of the castle taking star readings. After a while, I decided to go into the dining area just off the Great Hall. I poured myself some wine and studied the charts I had made until it was time to sleep. From there, I went directly to my chamber and slept the rest of the night. Oh, now I hang on. Reading the stars. Now that necessitates a clear sky. Somebody's lying. I need to figure out what the weather was. Because either you're lying or Orgnorf is lying. And I don't know who has yet. I mean, there we go. There's the inconsistency right there. Wine shipment in the rain versus reading the stars. You cannot have both of those at the same time. It doesn't make sense. So I need Orgnorf. someone to verify the weather. Yes. But how am I going to do that? And where's the last person? Oh, hang on. Um, am I supposed to be allowed in here? Okay, guard just ran into the bedchamber. I was just checking for more clues, but he just opened the door. Am I allowed in? Is what's happening is it's now night time and... Uh, okay, it's only quarter to seven. But at the bare minimum, I've got in... And no one's yelling at me to get out because I'm intruding, so I call this a massive winner. Okay, now this, this might be of use. Well, nothing's jumping out at me, and honestly, I'm not actually sure where this painting would have been hanging. Not behind the bed, because that's where the banner is. Could have been above the door, but it's a bit of an odd place for it. You may also want to speak to Bitneld, the captain of the guard. He can be found on patrol in Coral or in the barracks. Finally, I would try speaking to Orak Grogoth, who is my steward. He resides in the private quarters section as well. If he isn't in the castle, he may be at the Northern Goods and Trade, buying food to stock our larder. Okay, that's where my missing people are. Gotcha. So, right, one of them's going to be able to fill in the gaps. And now I know where to find them. I like how I can accuse her, by the way. That's, that's marvellous. Here we go, right in the barracks over the road... Bitneld. I'm Bitneld, the curse bringer, captain of the Coral Guard. What can I do for you? There's something particularly off about your stare, buddy, so... Uh, all right. Always just, you know, sweet talk everybody before we ask them anything. Okay, the lad's maxed out. Let's see what we can learn about the weather. I'm sorry, I wasn't in that evening. I was making my rounds of Coral. The only odd occurrence lately was with Channel. I have seen her spending a lot of time in the West Tower. When I asked her about it, she said it involved her spell research. I suppose at the time it sounded good enough for me. Okay, West Tower may be of interest. Here we go, West Tower. There's a few towers dotted about, but I wasn't really paying them too much in the way of, uh, attention. So, okay... She's been uh, hanging out in here doing magic, so she says. Let's just, you know, make sure we... Ooh, a trap door. Lardy Flip and Dart, together with an arch tower. What's an arch tower? I don't know, but there's a nice carpet here at the bare minimum. All right, let's just search everything for evidence of magic. Okay, well, here's interesting. 
At the back of the uh, West Tower, there's a door outside that was not locked when I came up to it. If you were looking to, say, sneak something out of the castle, that's the route you'd use. Okay. I think we might need to uh, have a chat about this. Oh, but perhaps more of interest. Um, I've just found a painting. Now, it's not the painting because it's not of, uh, yes, a count. It's not a person, it's a building. But somebody is into painting and I'm guessing it's her. Okay, I can't interact with that painting just yet. Possibly I need to finish the interviews first. But by now, if we're lucky, here we go. It's evening. So this guy's returned from the shops. Huh. I don't remember seeing Channel or Orgnolf that entire evening. But then again, I stayed in my quarters most of the night. There was no point in going on my usual walk with all of the rain falling. As far as Channel and Orgnoff go, they seem fine to me. I only had a minor scrape with Orgnoff recently. I caught him drinking in the West Tower on the upper level. I told him if he didn't stop, I would tell the Countess. He just grumbled and agreed. He hasn't bothered me since. Okay. That puts Orgnoff in the West Tower too. But we know for a fact that yes... Channel's the one who was lying. We've now got confirmation on the weather. All right, so now we're into evidence gathering. I'm guessing this just became more important. And there we go. Someone in the castle's a painter. I should keep looking for more clues. Okay. Can I speak to Channel at all about this? Because this is highly suspicious. Okay, Channel's not willing to say anything else, but... There is a giant pile of, you know, obvious painting stuff just hanging out here. So, take all that. There we go. Painting supplies. So, yes, this does seem somewhat suspicious, but apparently there's more to it yet. So, all right, just going to have a poke around till I see something. Okay, bloody hell, this took me a bit of time to find, but the dining room where no one actually was previously, there's some paint on the carpets. And there we go. Apparently I can now make an accusation. Do I know whose footprints they are? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty confident it was Channel. Like, footprints or no. Are you accusing me of taking the painting? I mean, I'm accusing you of being super into painting. It's not quite the same, but it's pretty close. Very well. I confess to the crime, but please understand, I only did it out of the great love I had in my heart for Count Volga. It was I that painted that portrait. When the Count was lost, the Countess spent so much time with it that I became jealous. I had to have the painting back, so I decided to steal it, then hide it behind the painting in my quarters. I am ashamed of my crime, but ready to face what fate has in store for me. Okay, so she confesses it, and, uh, well, she was the artist. That doesn't necessarily mean she was, yeah, the Count's lover. She loved him, but nothing in her testimony suggests that, like, you know, they were having a secret, passionate, artistic affair. She was just super into him and painted the picture because she's good at painting and then got jealous of his wife after he passed away. So, yes, I think we're definitely turning her in. Right, Countess, get up. I've got news for you. Come on, come on, come on. This can't wait. I'm shocked to hear of Chanel's crime, as she has always been such a nice member of our court. But I see that your evidence is without question. She shall be banished from Castle Coral and stripped of her duties. However, I am not without pity, and therefore she shall not be jailed. But she is never to set foot in Coral again. Congratulations on a job well done. As a reward, please accept this bounty of gold and gems. You've earned it. And there we go. We've handed the painting back. Flawless pearl. That's got to be worth some good money right there. 200 gold. That is not bad. That's okay. Now, any chance I can give you that gold straight back in order to, you know, buy a house? Sorry, I'm looking for someone with a bit more renown. 
If you suddenly become famous, I would be glad to reconsider. I just got the painting back. Wow. Have I already persuaded her? For you, of course. She's maxed at 88. Okay. So I'm not famous enough to live in her town. Okay, next time her painting gets stolen, I am not helping. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. There's a couple of uh, display cases right here. I mean, I can't help but feel I was just uh, underpaid a tiny amount, so just be taking that. Nobody sees that, though. John, you can't sell it. It's stolen goods. How many chance would this be a valuable... Uh, is that a good book for skills? It is. Not just pop it down. Okay, might want to leave before the Vala Stone gets spotted. At some point, sooner or later, I'll find some way to fence stolen goods, and then that's going to be a good thing to sell. Okay, speculation. When she's talking about fame, maybe what she's talking about is, uh, yeah, faction standing. If I was a well-known member of, say, one of the guilds, given there are two guild houses uh, right in this town, uh, okay, I think I know what she needs me to do. I need to get myself leveled up with a guild. And right now I've got only one way to do that. We're going to Cloudtop. So it looks to me like I'm going to be answering that question I asked, uh, yes, a lot sooner than I expected. What's at the end of the road? Because uh, if there's mountains, then logically, yeah, best way to get up through them is going to be following the road till we're at the top, then taking a right. What's, what's going on? What's... Wait, hang on. Why is there a... Why is there a horse? Is that a horse? Wait. That might be a free horse. No. No, no, no. No. I need a horse. Please do not get back on the horse. Is this horse off? A... Gosh darn it. No. No, come back. I wanted that. You're lucky I don't believe in murder. Oh, well, this is awkward. Um, so the answer to the question, what's at the end of the mysterious road is... Literally nothing. The road just sort of runs out. I mean, this looks like there should be a pretty major road leading into Hammerfell, but just it's uh, fallen into disrepair and nobody bothered fixing it. Despite it being, yes, logically like a major trade artery. Maybe they used to trade by land, now they trade by sea, so it's not necessary. But still, feels a bit on the odd side. All right, just go a bit further up in this direction. Try and get up to the high ground if I can even clamber up this stuff, then try and take a right. Yeah, this looks about right over here. But I am getting away from civilization. I don't know whether we're playing by New Vegas rules here, where, yeah, once I go off the road, uh, things are much less in my favor. Things start getting nasty, potentially. Just stay down. Seems peaceful enough for the minute. Oh, hang on. Might just be able to acrobatics my way up here. There we go. Lovely. This would probably be much easier with a horse. Okay, I feel like this is not the intended way to go. Potentially there might be... Hmm. I might be supposed to be coming in from, yeah, north up Coral. There might be a better path up in that direction. I'm seeing signs of a cave... This does not feel like the intended solution, but typical Bethesda logic. If you just press the jump button enough, eventually you can get to the top of any bloody hill. Just a few steps further, and I think we've made it. This was definitely not the route I was supposed to travel up, but it appears to have worked. Brilliant. Now, um, minor concern. First thing I saw when I arrived, uh, shard remains, and... Fingers of the Mountain. I'm going to be honest, I was expecting a dungeon. In the bare minimum, now I'm expecting an ambush. So, either Irana at the Grey Mare or Tikias. I don't really want to annoy the Mage's Guild this early on, I'm afraid. And I don't really trust either of them. Like, they both seem dodgy. That's a nice sunset over there. Oh, the Imperial City in the distance. This game is still pretty. This is still very pretty. Okay, what we know is somebody read this book and then they exploded. And she wants to read it, which strikes me as bad. 
okay. Meanwhile, he's saying, hey, but dangerous, let's just keep it under lock and key. Which, given the whole exploding thing, yes, I was supposed to be following this path, I just didn't. That does seem like the better option. Yes. Yeah, it's going to Takias. I'm not burning my bridges with the guild this early on. Ah, yes. This is indeed the correct book. You've not been able to open it, I presume. Then all is well. You have shown yourself worthy of the guild, and for that I thank you. You shall have the recommendation you need. Now, I must ensure this book is kept safe. Excuse me. I'm going to be honest, it didn't even occur to me to attempt to open the book. Okay, if reading the book does something incredible, let me know in the comments below. But uh, for the time being, yes. By the looksy of it, the little guild charter I was given when I joined, uh, there must be six guild chapters. Uh, because it mentions that, yes, spell sales are limited uh, to each chapter, like one school per chapter. So... Coral is apparently the center of conjuration. I'm actually pretty good at conjuration, you know. All right, lads, hang on. Which one of you is selling the spells? Oh, blimey, it's this lad here, and uh, they were not kidding. This lad sells... Uh, oh, he's selling the good stuff, but the problem is... Uh, yeah, I don't have the magicka for the vast majority of this, and... Uh, Plenty of it is, yeah, I don't have the skill either. Okay, this might be a bit beyond me. Yeah, bare minimum of 50 for pretty much anything he's selling. So, okay, remember he's there, and you can check the book to see who's selling what. But for the time being, no, that's not gonna fly. Oh, and, um, Iran is waiting outside. You gave him the book? What were you thinking? And here I thought one of you guild mages might actually have a brain. All right, all right, we can deal with this. You'll have to get it back, that's all. You're in the guild, aren't you? You should be able to walk right in, find it, and take it. And if you can't, then break in. I want that book. Bring it to me once you have it. I'll even still give you the reward I promised, despite your incompetence. Now go! I'm gonna be honest, that's not actually a bad deal. I've already got the letter of recommendation, so... If the book just goes missing, then I get the money from her too. Alright, let's do it. Here we go, just nip upstairs, middle of the night. No one seems to be around. And I'm guessing this is his private quarters, so just nip in right. Oh dear. So, that's um... That's not going to fly. Turns out the book just gets to stay. Stay where it's supposed to be. At least for the time being. Because, uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not getting that open. No, as it turns out. Dear, oh, flippy dear. I mean, we'll give it, we'll give it one go. In fact, you know what? Leave it to fate. I will sacrifice five picks to the god of fate. All right. And if any of them, by sheer coincidence, open it up, she can have the book. One, two, three, four, five. She doesn't get the book. The gods have decided it. Oh, unless, of course, by any flipping chance, would you mind me just step away? Step away nice and fast before anybody realizes. Oh, here we go. Yes, job done. Nobody will suspect a thing. And here you go, ugliest of all potato-faced monsters. Ah, wonderful. I'll just take this from you and get to work translating it. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. I'll be at the Grey Mare until I've finished my work. But please don't disturb me until I'm done. This is quite a delicate business, you see. You're going to explode, aren't you? All right, should have been precisely 24 hours, because that's Hello. how long I just slept. Hello, my little friend. I have something that might interest you. I've committed most of the book to memory, but I took the time to write down a passage you might find useful. It contains instructions for acquiring a very special power. You'll want to read it carefully and then return to Cloud Top. 
I consider this to be more than a worthy reward for your help. I believe you'll agree, assuming you're careful. All right, return to Cloud Top, find the pillar, the pillar that exploded the man, and then, yes, carvings on this pillar made by Ileans. Okay, some form of, like, ancient magic precursor race or something. Do note this sounds dangerous, take whatever precautions you feel are necessary. Functions outdoors, uh, react strongly to magic, terrible power, capable of striking a man dead on the spot. Yes, as it did, uh, to the last person who tried to do this. So, uh, transported the stone to a secure location, study it fully, guild wizards brought into focus power of stone, several severely injured, uh, stone finely tuned uh, to react to shock magic, Welkin stone necessary to harness stone's power. So, okay. By the Luxy of it, yes, I'm going to be needing one, the ability to shock, and two, a Welkin stone. I don't have those anymore, I sold them all, so we need to go doing a little bit of uh, shopping before we can do any of this. Say, yeah, just spell store in the Imperial City should be fine for shock at this point, but Welkin, I'll need to find a new Ilayid ruin, though I'm pretty sure I saw one in the distance nearby to. Yes, the Imperial City, so that shouldn't be too difficult either. But you know what, I would say that is enough for now. We have solved a mystery, but apparently just begun a much bigger and more dangerous one. Next time, oh yeah, we're going straight back up to Cloudtop, but we're going to need to nip back to the Imperial City and some surrounding dungeons to gather the necessary materials. But if that could give me a giant lightning spell of exploding doom, oh... Well, that sounds worth it to me. So, join me next time as I mess with powers I don't understand and almost certainly end up exploding. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.